Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Timix King Lou and I'm Elijah Emomotimi Rachel. Today I'm here with another very educative video for you. My channel is about skincare and here I teach you how to make easy to advanced DIY. I create one of a kind recipes for skin repair, maintenance, advanced skin whitening and toning without side effect and of course i share them step by step with you please be part of this skincare family click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more content um remember we have our product timmy skin glow product are available for niche and uh, worldwide delivery we deliver worldwide so of course distance is never a barrier okay if you're interested in our skincare training, that's available as well. We offer online classes on skincare, natural skincare formulation. So if you're interested, please send a WhatsApp message or send me an email. You get a response. Okay, our ebooks are available. We have whitening base cream ebook. We have a whitening activator oil recipe ebook. We have pro mixing ebook. Okay, and of course, our natural skincare formulation ebook is also available don't forget to follow us on instagram at timic skin glue you can also follow me on my private page at elijah emomotimi rachel thank you for your support all right today i'm going to share with you um this um lactic acid diy lactic acid that's for latent lotion i did a video on it two years ago and of course there's so many comments in the comment section that need and clarification although i replied your comments but i've decided to do this video as to why you don't need camboma base for your diy lactic acid lotion i told you in that um, recipe video you need a plain base cream not a whitening base cream you need a plain moisturizer as your base of course and that moisturizer should not have camboma so a lot of you are kind of scared you know in the from what i see in the comment section you feel camboma is bad or is dangerous or it's harmful to the skin okay actually camboma is a type of thickener used in um, skincare products okay they are safe and non-toxic for humans so of course if you see any product that has carboma in it it doesn't mean it's harmful okay it's actually a kind of thickener using cosmetic products so today i'm going to show you life practical why you don't need a carboma base for that diy lactic acid lotion here we have four kind of um, lotion this one here has carboma in it so you are going to see in this live video what happens when I add lactic acid to it. I think that way you understand better why I said, don't use a base, don't use a moisturizer that has carboma in it. This one here has carboma. You can see the um, texture. You can see it's kind of um, light. It's not so thick, it's just like a regular body lotion. Mm? It's not so thick. It's not so light either. This one here has carboma in it. So I'm going to show you the other ones. This here, it's a regular um, body lotion. It's not thick, okay? But this does not have carboma. But the only difference is that it's not a light, it's not a thick base, it's not a thick um, lotion. You need a thick moisturizer, okay? You need a moisturizer that is thick and a moisturizer that does not have carboma. This one here has carboma in it as a thickener. This does not have carboma, but it's not thick. You can see the consistency of this lotion. And I'm going to also add lactic acid here for you to see what happens when um, lactic acid is added to a base that's as light as this. Okay. Remember, I said it must be a plain moisturizer, not a whitening cream not a lightning cream okay it should just be a regular plain um moisturizer -like body cream this one here it's a regular body moisturizer it does not have uh, carboma in it carboma was not as a thickener you can see the consistency of this one i'm also going to add lactic acid here for you to see what happens when you use this kind of 
moisturizer as your base. This I told you I'm making use of four um, base for this um, practical video. And here, this is a base cream. This is a thick base cream. You can see the consistency. This is the kind of cream I love. This is the kind of base I love using for my pro mixing. This kind of base cream, no matter what you put, it will not it will not be so light. It will hold your liquids together. It will hold your concentrate well for you. So I'm also going to use this for the DIY lactic acid lotion. And then you see how it turns out. So first of all, what is, la is lactic acid good for the skin? Lactic acid is not harmful, but you it depends on how you use it. If you don't use it where you end up harming yourself, you end up damaging your skin, you end up burning your skin. This is what lactic acid looks like. It's colorless, it's so clear, and it's odorless. Lactic acid is an exfoliant using skincare product. It's common in skincare product. It's using facial product, it's using exfoliating product, it's using body scrub, it's using moisturizers, it's, it's using a lot of um, skincare products, okay? Lactic acid is an AHA, that is, it's an alpha hydroxy acid, okay? Which helps to remove dead skin cells, lighten dark spots, and improve the look of fine line and wrinkle on all skin type, including sensitive skin. So um, lactic acid can be used on all skin type. If you have sensitive skin, yes, you can use lactic acid lotion. So I'm going to start with this. Uh, I'm going to start with these other ones that don't have um, carboma. Okay. I'm going to start with this base cream. I'm going to add the same quantity of um, lactic acid in all of them. So you see um, how it turns out. This is my lactic acid I'm using. Um, so um, I'm starting with this base. Just going to put one tablespoon lactic acid. So this is my one tablespoon of lactic acid. I'm just going to stir and let's see what happens. So this is it. If you want to know the different percentage to use for your lactic acid, the percentage you can use on your face and the body, I'm going to put the link of the video I did, the previous video. I think that video was on two years ago. It had about um, 145 comments and uh, there are so many questions asked there. I do have replied, I've answered those questions, but for the sake of people watching this video today, I'm going to also um, throw more light on the questions. I'm going to answer them again and then um, explain more so you understand well. So you can see I added lactic acid, one tablespoon of lactic acid. You can see how the cream is. It's still thick. Okay, so I'm going to add one tablespoon to the other ones for you to see. This one does not have carboma, okay? It's regular steric acid, cetyl alcohol, e-wax, coconut oil, and, uh, you know, the regular cream without carboma. So I'm just going to do the same thing to the other three, and let's see what happens. At the end of that, of the three, um, of the practical, I'm going to explain something to you. So you can see what this looks like. Uh, which one I'm going to do next? Okay, this is a regular moisturizer. Okay, it does not have carboma. So let me add them um, one tablespoon of lactic acid to it, and then let's see what happens. So here we go. Oh, yeah, this is one tablespoon. So I'm just going to stir. This is a regular plain moisturizer. So you can see it still retains its um, texture. You can see it's not so light, not so runny. 
it's still like a regular body lotion so i'm going to add do the same thing to the other moisturizer and let's see what happens please if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button hit the notification bell there's so many uh, uh, nice video on this channel they're categorized into different playlists so kindly go through our playlist you will definitely find something you want okay very informative so educative videos i'm also going to add one tablespoon of lactic acid to this one this lotion this is one tablespoon so let's see what happens remember i said at the end of the, this video i'm going to explain something to you about carboma this one is just a light moisturizer it's not thick okay Kabuma was not used in this um, product to do this for you guys to do so you, uh, you understand very well. You can see it's running, it's so light, okay, but it's still in the, still like a lotion, you can still use this, it's not so bad. Okay, now it's time for the last one. Let's see what happens with the Kabuma moisturizer this one you can see what it looks like now just like your regular lotion so i'm going to add the lactic acid let's see what happens so i'm also going to add the same quantity one tablespoon of my lactic acid so this is one tablespoon you can see <laughs> can you see the transformation the differences so there's so much you can see how um, our thick moisturizer turned watery in less than a minute. Do you know why it's this way? Because carboma was used as a thickener. So when carboma and lactic and acid meet together, this is what happens. This is the result. Okay. Of course, you can know how do you apply this on your body. You can see the difference. You can see what it turned to. It's no more in the lotion form. It's more like it. It's just a watery. Okay, it's like water. So when you use a, a moisturizer that has carboma, this is what happens to the lotion. It's not that um, carboma is dangerous. No, carboma is not harmful to the skin. It's non-toxic. But when you use it for your DIY lactic acid lotion, this will be the end product. You can see other lotion. They are still um, the way the lotion should look like. This one, you can see how thick it is. Okay, even if I turn it this way, it won't um, pour out. And this is a very thick cream. You can see. But you cannot try that with this. It will just uh, everything will come out. So and um, depend depending on the percentage you may want to use for your skin. So the, I'm going to put a link in the description box. So you go through that video, click on the link, and then watch my previous video on DIY lactic acid lotion to know more about um, how to DIY, how to make your own lactic acid exfoliating lotion. So in that in that video, the video I did on the DIY lactic acid lotion, there were so many comments there. But I'm just going to read out few, about four or five or maybe there about and then reply it and then explain more so you understand. Now, somebody asked in that um, comment section, Navia, I think the name is Navia, do we need to check, um, do we need to check the pH of the lotion or no need? That's this DIY lactic acid lotion. Do you should ask if there's a um, need to check the pH or no need? Actually, there's no need to check the pH of the lotion. 
you can just use it like that because it's an exfoliating lotion. It has to be acidic for it to work well for you. So you have to um, use it like that. And she also asks, if, um, is it required to use preservative in the mixture? No, you don't need preservative. You don't need preservative in this. It's just something you mix like this and then you apply. You are good to go. So for those of you um, who are also um, thinking if there's need to add preservative or if it's necessary to check the pH, no, it's not necessary. You can use it as it is. Okay. And Maggie, she asked a question and she said, are we supposed to use this lotion every day or how many times a week is okay for use? Now, this is an exfoliating lotion. Just as you cannot use your exfoliating scrub every day, every day. That's the same way you cannot, you should not use this um, lactic acid exfoliating lotion every day. No, do not use it every day. And it's not something you should use. Uh, it's not something you should use every day. Just decide who, in a week or in a month, how many um, times do you want to exfoliate using your DIY lactic acid? You know, this DIY lactic acid lotion is... Uh, it's more effective, more potent in terms of exfoliation than your regular scrub. So you, you can use your scrub three times a week, two times a week. That's every week, two times a week, three times a week. But you cannot do that with your lactic acid lotion. There are exceptions though, but that depends on the percentage you are working with. So I would say don't do this every week. Just maybe every two weeks you can say, okay, in a month, there are four weeks in a month. I can do this uh, every two weeks. I can do it three days for every two weeks. You know, three days every two weeks, but at night. Okay, that's fine. So you are the one to decide, but it should not be every day, every day thing. Okay, and it should not be every week. If you, you are doing it every week, every week, it means you are using it. Uh, you may um you may abuse it, and you may uh, have um clean skin from using exfoliating lotion on a weekly basis. So you can uh, use that uh, in between. Maybe if this week I'm using scrub, next week I can use my lactic acid lotion three days a week. And then the other week, you know, just something like that. But it's not something you should use every day. No. Nails to me. She said, hi, Timik. Thank you for your video. Can you tell me why not to use lotion with carboma? Is it a problem for mixture? Yes, I think this video answered this already. When you use uh, a product with uh, a, a lotion with carboma for your DIY lactic or lotion, this is your DIY lactic acid lotion, this is what the end result will be. This is what your lotion will turn out to be. So now you understand why I said do not use lotion with carboma for your DIY lactic acid lotion. And then Goldie, she asks, do I add more lactic acid to my fair and white lactic acid lotion? Because I, it seems um, its percentage is very low. I can't even find the percentage online. How do you know the percentage is very low? You could not find the details online, but you are assuming. In skincare, we don't assume. Assumption can lead to um, skin damage. You have to work with information. In skincare, we work with information. We don't work with assumption. So you have to know what percentage of lactic acid is used there. If you are not sure, then get another um, product you are sure of the, label, the description in the label. And um, fair and white, you don't need a whitening product for your DIY lactic acid exfoliating lotion. I've said it over and over again. You need a plain moisturizer. You need a plain moisturizing lotion, not a whitening lotion, not a lightening lotion. Just a plain moisturizer. That's what you need, okay? And Nephi, she said, thanks for the video there. My question is, will it peel the skin? And for how long should it be used per month? Lactic acid lotion um, will exfoliate your skin. You may notice um, this micro peeling. But depending on the percentage you work with, you may notice um, re-peeling, like the one you can see very well. You will notice your skin peeling off. That's when you use a high percentage. So it depends on the percentage you work with. To understand better, please watch the video I did on my DIY lactic acid lotion. The link is in the description box. And then Sarah, she said, Hi, Timik. Please, if we use this lotion at night, in the morning, are we supposed to use just a plain moisturizer? Then following day, we use a lightning cream. When you use your DIY lactic acid lotion, please make sure you um, 
limit sun exposure. Use your sunscreen. It's a must. Okay. And during the period of uh, using your lactic acid lotion, you don't need any lightning product. You don't need any lightning soap or lightning cream. For the period, you know you are going to exfoliate with the lactic, lactic acid lotion. Just be ready to use plain moisturizer or true. Once you are done with your um, exfoliating process with the lactic acid lotion, that's when you can start using uh, your lightning product. But for the period you are putting this on your skin, I would say don't use any lightning product at all. And make sure you get a very good um, sunscreen. Okay? And she also asked again, Sarah, please, when using this lotion, are we supposed to use regular body scrub during the period? I would say um, while you are using this lotion for a start, you don't really need a scrub. But once you start noticing the exfoliating um, process on your skin, you start noticing the your skin peeling. Okay, when I say peeling, not that severe peeling like, oh, your skin, what's wrong with you? Are you having skin issues? No. Once you just notice that peeling, that's when you start using scrub. And I would say you should use a sugar scrub or coffee scrub. Just use a um, collagen scrub, any natural scrub, not a whitening scrub yet. While you are peeling, don't use a whitening scrub. Just go with um, a sugar scrub is nice or coffee scrub. That's perfect. Okay? Not a whitening scrub. And then fantastic gadget asks, can I keep lotion overnight on my face or should i wash it off this lotion is not a wash off product it's a leave-on product you use it like a regular cream you rub on your skin and then you leave it that's all so it's not something you put and then wash off after some time you know that's not how to use it you use it like your regular body cream and then kai cousin asks how do you know if the lotion has carboma now the best way Best way for you to identify um, a product that has carboma, you have to check the label of that product. So if you are using any moisturizer, go through the labels, check the description, check the label and see the ingredient used. If carboma is used, it will be stated there. But if carboma is not stated there, when you add your lotion, when you add your lactic acid uh, to the lotion, automatically it will turn this way, watery like this, and then you will know, oh, yes, carboma was using this. Next thing to do is to get another um, moisturizer immediately. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you find it interesting. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please let me know. Drop it in the comment section. Of course, I'm going to reply you. I'm going to answer all your questions. Bye. See you in my next video.